What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Just finished packing up, getting ready for California again. We're on our way out again. This time for the last time for like a month and a half, we're gonna take a big break. Hopefully start the, the van builds a little bit and really work on our online shop because that's where we're gonna start really like uh, you know, advertising more and launching more of the stuff, making it available so that we can, um, you know, sell more online so we don't have to vend so much. Ultimately, you know, we started this thing as vendors. We didn't even really like know we were gonna get into it. We, we kind of wanted to become vendors before, but festival vendors, we were gonna vend like festival fashion stuff. Uh, I've already talked about this before, but what ended up happening was we started like a, basically a whole jewelry company, you know, just a little one obviously, but we do have like a full, you know, we have like gemstone jewelry, and now I'm making earrings and stuff, and they're pretty cool, actually. Um, I mean, very simple, but um, I just never thought that I'd be here right now. And so now we're trying to start a whole business with it and make an online shop and make it so that we're making a few thousand dollars a month uh, so that we don't have to vend as much except for the busy seasons and we can start to travel. The one thing that I've been learning a lot is that starting a business is really hard, especially when you're trying to do it all yourself. My house is always dirty. Everything's always all over the place. Constantly thinking about creating and, like, working on things, which is the, the fun part. Now, luckily for me, I've been learning a lot about, like, camera work and um, you know pictures and videos and stuff so I'm gonna be shooting and taking up my own videos which will save us a lot of money but that's once again really really time consuming you know you spend all day shopping for all your materials and then you finally get home you want to create stuff and then maybe you're too tired so you wait and you create things the next day you create things all day and then you created um, and now you're too tired to set uh, you know the camera up and take pictures and then even when you do that that takes a few hours then you got to get all the pictures and put them into you know Lightroom or whatever you edit with, and that's a few more hours in editing, finding all you know, all the best ones, and then editing them all really good, and trying to make all the backgrounds look the same, and just ugh, I could go on and on. It's pretty crazy, but I will say it's all worth it because I'm still not clocking in, punching a clock. I'm working way more, way longer, but you know I have the freedom to stop whenever I want to, uh, stay home, you know, not work on something that day or whatever you know and I'm not missing anything like uh, birthday parties we were at Kaylee's brother's birthday yesterday and that was really cool and usually we're missing things like that just because we work and we always have a, a schedule to keep and we do have a schedule to keep here too but we at least we know it's ours and it's it's just a, it's just a freedom thing so I don't know it feels really good but uh, you know it's not just you know starting a business because like we're, we're actually like making money with this business right now and not having to work which is really cool but that wasn't easy streets every single day in California trying to grow our brands, grow our customer relationships just through you know really good customer service and great products. We really take a lot of time and make quality. all of our products like yeah all quality and Genuine. people people notice it. I mean a lot of our comments say so and then we've even gone as far as lengths of like meeting people to like deliver bracelets after they break or uh, if they forgot to come pick it up after we made it for them on the beach, we'll send it to them a few days later. Like we're very good at building the customer relationship um, thing really well. So we got lucky in that sense because you know a year ago we went to our friend's birthday party in San Diego, and he's not even from San Diego, and it just ended up vending now. So through that, um, that's how we're able to make money while building this company at the same time. So we're able to support ourselves and then throw money back into the company and then you know, pay our bills and stuff like that too. So it's been a really, really, really big fun ride and we wouldn't change it for the world. And I know most people, especially our families, friends and stuff, they assume that like, because we work on the beach, that we're out here having a vacation like every single day. And as you saw from our last video, I mean like it's not like, you know, rocket science or anything, but it's definitely like hard to set up a whole store every single day. And it's not like we just put out a table, a sheet and just like call it a day. You know, we really put time into like making sure everything looks good and pretty much having a full store that's like popped up in the daytime. And then at night we take it all down and throw it back into where it's supposed to go. So it's definitely, um, a challenging thing but uh, like I said I wouldn't change it for the world because we're selling things that we create for one uh, we have the freedom to do pretty much like whatever we want now which is cool obviously not when we're working but like we choose to be here on the beach working so and look at this view yeah and you can't you can't beat this kind of view you know this is like every amazing. night so I mean obviously there's like a little vacation that goes into like you know 
this because we're, we're living kind of like a dream work scenario, but it's not like, it's, it's not the easiest thing in the world. Yeah, it's still working. We're still trying to do something with it. So basically, you know, by the title of this video, we're asking, you know, what, you know, what, how far would you go to, uh, you know, quit your nine to five? And we would at least, as far as we know, we'd at least drive, you know, 300 and almost 400 miles, you know, every All other right. weekend or so. That's the thing. We don't live out in California. We drive from Arizona and we do it pretty much every other weekend. During the summertime, we were out here like the whole time, which was nice. But, you know, with Holland, my daughter being back in Arizona, we have to like go back and forth, which is totally fine too. We don't mind that at all. It's just, you know, it's not easy is what I'm trying to say, so. When you go from having a small work schedule to this is all day, every day, every day of our lives. Oh yeah, that's another thing. But they, and they, we enjoy it. And they say that, you know, um, when, you're, when you're starting a business is that you aren't, you know, working your nine to five, you're working pretty much 24 hours a day. Like we're, I mean, we've been Always. having trouble sleeping lately because we're just constantly thinking of like all the things that we're gonna do soon such as like advertising and pictures and videos and you know all, all kinds of things it just never ends but it's really it is exciting and it does um, get hard but one thing I want to say before we end it is that um, you know doing this as a couple has been one of the coolest things and the hardest things that we probably have ever done I mean I don't know about you but uh, we're living in like a van that's like this big you know so uh, you really get to know somebody like that when you're living with somebody like that and um, it takes a lot of communication a lot of like understanding and just like you know maybe letting the other person have their moment or whatever because sometimes it gets rough out here and there was a there was a few weeks where i was pretty much drinking every single day you know and try not to do that anymore so that just became with the whole like working basically from sun up to sundown kind of thing but you know basically what i'm trying to say here i guess is if you're going to do this you know make sure you can do it with somebody that you can stand all the time and if not figure out a way to make it work and make um, sure that you're ready to put everything into it yeah you gotta make sure you're gonna put everything into it anyways guys Wanted to keep this video short. I don't know how long this is gonna be. Hopefully it's kind of short. Uh, next video though, I wanted to wait till we were back in California to do this again, mm -hmm. was uh, the van tour. Because after this trip, hopefully we're gonna be done like for a month and a half and we're gonna freaking gut that thing. So, oh, yeah. uh, cause it has leaks. <laughs> so we gotta figure that out ASAP before mold starts growing and rust and all kinds of terrible things. So next week, we van no build so thanks for hanging out with us today guys, peace out.